Okay, this video is going to serve as a quick installation guide for the Zip Mag ZX upgrade kit for the Ruger BX25 magazine. This helps the zip guns run reliably with the BX25 magazine. Let's take a look inside the package. You're going to get this bandolier magazine cover shell holder, a little pack of hardware, it's got four screws and three nuts, and a little pack of parts. In the parts you'll get this extended follower, an extra magazine spring, and an allen wrench to disassemble the magazine. So, flip the magazine over to the right side where you see the two screws. Take the allen wrench, unscrew them. You don't have to worry about these magazines exploding. They operate with tension instead of compression. So when they're empty, there's no spring pressure at all. Undo the screws, lift off the side of the shell. And you can take out the three internal parts here, the follower and the magazine spring from the feed lips. First thing to do here is to take the two magazine springs and link them together. This is the old one with the nub in it and this is the new one. Take the new one with the hole and slip the nib through, twist them together. until they look like that. Then you're going to rotate the new one to piggyback on the old spring like that. This is going to double the spring pressure when installed in the magazine. So now take your feed lips on the side with the two nubs to hold in the, the spring nubs and you're going to pull a little bit of slack out of the springs here and then stick the springs inside the little holder there just like that now take the right side of the hole the shell the magazine shell flip the feed lips over and set them in their place while the magazine springs set into their groove in the middle of the shell Now take the new follower, there's a nub on the back and a sign that says top. So take the nub on the top, stick it through this bottom spring, just like that, pull it down. Take the old follower with the nub on the bottom, stick it through the top spring, rotate it, and release the new follower so it backs up against the old one, just like that. Now take the left side of the shell, reinstall it, so it clamps together. Reinstall the top short screw here, now you can reuse the, the stock screw for the bottom of the magazine and have it look just like normal. If you want to use the bandolier here, you need to use the new hardware. So, take the shell holder here. Oh, did it upside down. And stick the magazine in, and it fits just like that. Now take the new longer screw, stick it through, tighten it down. Doesn't take very much, that's it. Now the bandolier has three slots for these nuts and new screws. Drop a screw in or sorry, drop a nut in, hold it with your finger, turn it over, find where the new screws come in. Oh, that needs a little hole poked in it. Hmm. There. 
the mold wasn't cut all the way through. So then screw your little screw in. Just like that. Move to the next one, drop a nut in, hold it with your finger. Put another screw in. You might you're gonna have to press both sides towards each other to get the screw to reach the nut. Okay, now it's put together. The follower doesn't shake like the stock magazine, so that's a little added bonus. And there it is.